اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to look into how to assess moderation analysis with a categorical moderator using multigroup analysis in IBM SPSS AMOS. So the concept of moderation. You can use categorical variable as a moderator in AMOS. The way to test a categorical moderator is exactly the same as we have done earlier in two group analysis. The link will be shared in the description. For instance, let's say we have a categorical moderator that is type of bank, that is public bank or private bank. Now this categorical variable is proposed to moderate the relationship from organizational commitment to collaborative culture. In a sense, we are hypothesizing that organizational commitment will have a stronger relationship to collaborative culture in private sector banks in comparison to public sector banks. So the type of bank will moderate this relationship. To test this moderator, we will set up a two group analysis in AMOS, where we will form two groups and then label all the parameters differently across the groups, just as we did in our earlier lectures. Once we have labeled all the parameters for each group, we are now ready to specify the relationship that needs to be tested across the groups. AMOS will initially give you different potential models that will constrain different aspects of the model to be equal across groups. Now this is what we do in multi-group analysis. Now we need to constrain one of the relationship in order to assess whether that relationship differs between the groups or not. How do we do this in AMOS? Now look at this. This is our model. And this is the relationship that we are going to constrain. B1 underscore 1. And then for the other group, it will be B1 underscore 2. So this is the relationship that we want to test whether this relationship actually differs between the public sector banks and the private sector banks. Now how do we do this in AMOS? Let's go back to AMOS. Now here is the model. I've already set it up. Obviously this is this is easy to do. You just have to go to multi-group analysis in your model. Press OK and then obviously press OK and all this will be labeled automatically. Now I want to constrain this relationship here. Now how do I constrain? How do I create that new constraint? So what you need to do is come here and maybe just click any one of them. Click new and let's name it constrain one. Now, which is the relationship that you want to constrain? This is the relationship I want to check whether this relationship significantly differs between the two groups because the grouping variable is the moderator here. So what I'll do is I'll write B3 underscore one is equal to B3 underscore two. So this is for group one. This is for group two. All done cross it and here is your constrained one. Now, next thing is you need to run your model. How do you do this? Just calculate estimates. Maybe you have to go to analysis properties, standardize estimates and all, and then run your model. Now go to view text and here is your output. Go to model comparison. This is what I'm interested in for now. Look at this. This is significant. Now, how do I interpret this significant relationship? For this, I will go back to my results. And these are your results. Now, after forming the new comparison model, we are ready to run the analysis. We ran the analysis. We went into the model comparison link in the output. And what does this mean here? This will give us the chi-square difference across the group for the relationship we are testing. So the relationship that we are testing was OC, and CC, organizational commitment and collaborative culture. Does this differ between the two groups? The results of the test show that constraint one comparison had a chi-square difference of 5.421, which is significant. So this relationship differs between the two groups. The way organizational commitment influences collaborative culture in public sector organization is different from the way it influences in private banks. The influence of organizational commitment on collaborative culture in public sector 
banks is different from the influence of organizational commitment on collaborative culture in private sector banks. We know that this is different. How do we know that this is different? Look at this. P-value is less than 0 0.05 here. We now know the relationship is different between the two groups. But I do not know if a specific category is strengthening or weakening a relationship compared to another category. To find out this information, we will have to go to our estimates. And where are our estimates? Here are our estimates. And look at this. This is significant in public. Look at this, the estimate 0.446. If you now select the private group here, here is your private group right beneath the output estimates and then here it is where is it in amos obviously we can have a look here let's go back here let's move this up a bit go to estimates go to public obviously it's by default it's the first group now look at this 0.446 it's significant in public sector banks as well is it significant in private yes it's significant in private but much stronger so the influence, as we said, is different, but it is stronger in private sector banks, just as we interpreted here as well. Let me go back here. Now, since we selected private group, you see that OCOP, the relationship is significant, but the unstandardized regression weight is much stronger. Look at this, 0.695, which was 0.446 in public sector banks. Thus, we can conclude that private banks have a stronger influence of organizational commitment on collaborative culture instead of public sector banks. Our chi-square different test shows that the moderator is significant and the examination of regression coefficients lets us know the moderator influences the specified relationship. Now, if you want to know more and you want to learn more or read on AMOS, here is the book. Thank you very much.